hey guys welcome back or welcome to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and a wonderful life of course as y'all already know today i'm going to be customizing my brother's iphone 15 plus i've gotten a lot of messages on my youtube shorts and on my iphone 15 pro unboxing asking how i customize the icons the widgets and all of that so today that's what i'm going to be showing y'all so i personally buy themes icons all of that either from small etsy shops or from ko-fi just to support smaller artists because honestly they really have some few things but of course you don't have to do what i do you can just go on pinterest or google search your wallpapers icons and whatever else you need and you're good to go so now i'm in files all you have to do is press and hold and press on compress i downloaded it several times by accident but just click on the zip and then you get the folder you'll get your wallpapers widgets for either your iphone or your ipad select the three dots on the right top corner just tap select then select all if you want all of them of course click on the share button on the left side of the corner and then save images and just repeat the same thing for the rest of the backgrounds so now that you're done you have it all saved in your gallery So the first thing I typically do is just add the wallpaper first and I just customize the lock screen. Nothing crazy, just really some simple. Just pick whatever one you want and that's pretty much it. Of course, they're going to give you some different options to change the color, the font, and all of that. I did do slight customization on top where it shows the date and the day, but I don't really add that much stuff on the lock screen. it's time for the good part we're gonna work on the icons you just have to go on the app called shortcuts already installed in your phone click on the plus sign on the right top corner click in the middle where it says open app you're gonna click on where it says app and just search up any apps that you want to work on first i started off with facetime you go up down to where it says open app on there and add to home screen now you can either leave this blank or you can add of course the title of the app choose photo and just choose whichever picture that you want to use for your icon once that's done you just click on add sends you immediately back to the home screen just drag click whatever whatever put it where you want to put it and that's pretty much it when you go back into the app is you just have to press done and do the same process over again for each individual app that you want to change up i typically just mess around with the first two slides of the home screen i don't do all of them because honestly that is too tiring but it's always up to you. Okay, so now this is how my icons are looking like right now. Now we're gonna work on the widgets and I use the app called Widget Smith. It's really easy. You can choose whatever size you wanna do. Click on photo, choose from photos and literally choose whatever photo you wanna add for the widget. You can of course get widgets from Google and Pinterest as well. Do whatever you wanna do because it's always up to you. Ooh, bars. Now that we have that done, just press and hold on the home screen, click on the add button on the left top corner, click on widget smith, and click on whichever size widget that you wanna add on there. Just click on the widget again, click whichever one you wanna do, and there you go. I'm gonna change the color up because I thought it was gonna show up clear, but here we go, boom. That's how she's looking like. And just repeat the same steps for the small widgets as well the, that I'm gonna add on the second slide.
Now I'm gonna add some little extra widgets on there and this app is called iScreen. I actually found out about this app when I was unboxing the iPhone 15 Pro that I decided to exchange for the Pro Max, but there's a lot of things that you can add on here. Of course, for the really good stuff, you have to pay for the app, but I'm not gonna do that. So I was just trying to see what type of vibe I wanted to go for with some of these widgets. Um, it's really easy to add to your home screen. There's like CD player, music players that you can add on there that I did with the last video but for this one i'm just gonna add this to-do list that i think is really really cool and of course you can change up the background image color the text you can do a lot with this on here so once you're done customizing just click on save to my widgets on the bottom go to my widgets install and then little pop-up video will pop up and just the same thing that we did with the widget smith app you do the same thing with ice cream So now is the time to show y'all how I was able to play that one jumping game on the home screen, on the corner of the home screen. I'm not sure what this is, what is called. So this is a free app for the most part. You do have to pay for certain characters, but you can just watch some ads and you're able to get characters like Naruto, Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Levi from Attack on Titan. But I just chose a little dinosaur instead. You can play on the app, of course. You get the full length of the game, but y'all already know we're gonna add this onto the home screen. Click on edit, customize, and scroll all the way down and you will find Steve. If you do it the other way, like I did with the other widgets, it's not going to show up and you have to do it this way. I also added this little mood widget from Ice Cream as well. I thought it was really cute and I like it. So all you just have to do is click on that little arrow on the side and you can just start playing right away at any given time, at any given moment. There's a lot of apps out there that allows you to customize your dynamic island whether that's with little pets colors whatever you want to call it you can do it on there this one only allows you to get the pig and the corgi for free but yeah that's gonna be all for this video hopefully i was helpful for some of y'all because i know when i switched over from my s23 ultra to the iphone it was kind of hard for me to figure out how to change up the icons and the widgets and all that to make it pretty but it's honestly not that hard you just have to invest some time and you can also make your iphone really aesthetic pretty handsome whatever you want to call it <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all on the next one deuces